Hello, magic makers, and welcome. This is Lisa McCardle, your consciousness activator and your inner wisdom awakener. I am here to say happy lunar eclipse full moon in Cancer. It's today. And I just wanted to give a little update of what you may be expecting or experiencing this day and how you can best optimize the frequencies of today. So this is a really powerful weekend. This bookend, basically, it's the, well, today is the first eclipse of the new decade. And it brings with it a lot of energy and a lot of momentum because it's housed in Cancer it brings with it a lot of emotion or a lot of opportunity for emotional healing and perhaps an elevation of your emotional intelligence. And what that basically means is um, if you are like most of us, you might be experiencing that this entry point into 2019 hasn't been the full rah-rah right out of the gates that maybe you had hoped. I know I thought I was going to come galloping in with, you know, riding on my horse, woohoo, but I kind of came in crawling on my belly with a hand up, needing to be supported and optimized at another level. And so what's been revealed through me is that the true essence of this 2020 energy is not really activating into its fullest potential and potency until today's event of the lunar full moon lunar eclipse and then the stellium event that's occurring on Sunday the 12th uh, the conjunction um so really this window between the the new moon solar eclipse that occurred on December 26th and then today's full moon eclipse um Eclipses are like bookends in a lot of ways. And if you think about it, it's really going into the shadow, right? Something comes in front of, one thing comes in front of the light of the other and gives us an illusion, if you will, of being able to focus into the shadows. And that's what we do during these eclipse windows too, is we get to look at a lot of the shadows. Um, my sense is that we've gotten an opportunity or had an opportunity through this window of these two weeks to really clean up a lot of the shadow energy of 2019, perhaps of the decade, and maybe even of our entire lives. Like it's that potent and it's that big. And so if it hasn't been a woohoo, let's go 2020 for you, know it's coming. Know that there was still some um, optimization, some opportunities to be handled in order to get into the full frequency to receive that which is coming. And one of the ways of which you can accelerate that is by really being present for the event that's happening on Sunday. In my link in the, in the bio, you will find um, an invitation to a live activation call that I'm going to be doing on the 12th that will help to elevate uh, the frequency of this 2020 energy and really put us into um into the into becoming the new humans that we are here raising our hands saying yes to becoming so um, i would love to have you join us on that call on the 12th but for today what's really important is that you move with whatever emotional frequency is coming be gentle with yourself be present with yourself let it move through you emotion isn't always a bad thing friends Emotion is part of how we experience beauty, how we experience joy, how we experience um, elevation, elation. So the emotional frequency um, is dependent upon where you're positioning yourself and what's real and true for you. So go with it. Go with the flow and enjoy the ride. And if it's uncomfortable, then trust that it's so that you can get really comfortable <laughs> on the other side of the journey. So um, it's gonna be strong and powerful. It will help us to be inspired, to release what is no longer needed. And uh, basically it's just the, the grand shedding and the letting go. So, so when you have the mindfulness that's what's occurring, then you can actually become more aligned with the process of allowing it to be as such. 
So um, what I would love for you to do today is just to be really mindful, maybe take some space, be in meditation if it's available to you, or carve out moments of time where you can be in the silence of your own knowing and in the joy of your own heart and ask that that which is no longer serving to be released and that which is wanting to be seen to be revealed. Really potent time today, tomorrow through Sunday, just be in your presence. And I, I my meditation this morning really said that please be mindful that not that people, some people are having a really hard time. And can you reach out a hand? Can you reach out a heart? Can you pick up the phone? Whatever it is that enables you to move into more of this fifth dimensional consciousness, which is about collaboration, connection, um, coexistence. Um, when your sister or your brother is hurting, so are you. Whether you know them or not, this is how we raise the collective and the consciousness. So if you're feeling really optimized and you're enjoying the frequencies that are coming, because some are like, woohoo, let's go, I got this. Um, you, you all, we all have got this, but some are coming into that sensation a little quicker than others. And I'm finding that every day is getting lighter and lighter and lighter. I also want to talk a little bit about there's been a lot of illness or sickness, uh, the perception of that. I really perceive that having just been through a 12-day experience myself, I really experienced that as cellular rejuvenation or regeneration. You can call it whatever you want, but sometimes we need to sit ourselves down and get into the art and the practice of being so that the cells of our body and our wise, higher self, soul connection and understanding can activate and illuminate us to another level. And sometimes we are summoned, maybe not by what we perceive to be our choice, but we have to sit down and we have to heal. And we have to let go or we have the opportunity to let go and move from the doing, 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 pushing, pushing, pushing to the being, 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 allowing, 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 which in fact is the new frequency of our divine creation. That's who we're becoming. And that's the opportunity for you as well. So I was going to shuffle the cards to draw a card and this one just came popping out fell on the floor. I had a lot to say. <laughs> so we're going to go with it. Uh, it's a 17 card. Uh, this is from Alana Fairchild, um, Sacred Rebel deck, my favorite. And um, let's see. Um, the number uh, is eight. So it's the infinity of possibilities and beginnings in a lot of ways. And the words associated with it say, what is already with you. So my sense is that, you know, we're looking and we're seeking for these things outside of ourselves. What's the thing I can do? Who can I become? What is it I need? Where, 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 where? Because we all, we're wanting for something. We're feeling a call for and the desire for something more. It's very palpable in the human experience right now because there's a huge elevation that's coming into our frequency and the desire to connect with that is real. It's palpable. So if your desire is for the more, 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 know you're in good company. And what this is telling me is um, what is already with you is the point and place of which you are to seek, to lean in. The wisdom that's alive within you is the wisdom to take you to the next levels. Sometimes we have belief systems marring or shadowing those truths that keep us from the full fiber, vibrational frequency of allowing the truth that we know to move and be made manifest through us. So um, the, the vision is it's a butterfly, which is symbolic of transformation and they're white butterflies. So, and they're, they're flying towards the heaven. So it means to me that there's a transformational opportunity to move into higher level frequency, which is the white light um, that is, um, it's alive within you. Open your hands. The hands are the gateway to the heart. Open it from your heart through your hands to allow it to elevate up as you too elevate into your new frequency. And then there's uh, some sacred geometry in here telling me that it's all divinely orchestrated and multi multi-dimensionally frequenced for your advantage and benefit. And then um, I'm noticing the colors here, which are of the lower chakra regions, Sees. So that is telling me that as you raise 
and allow for that which you know to move and be mani made manifest through you to really transform, then it's going to anchor itself through the quantum of the sacred geometry into the these grounded first and second and third chakra energies of earth, of purpose, of 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 home, of money, of manifestation, of family, of relationships, of creativity, and ultimately of a higher sovereignty, higher alignment of your own power. So that's what I got for you today. Enjoy this day. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. And I would love to welcome you to the Stellium Activation event. There will be channeled messages. There will be clearing rituals. I will explain the true momentum and frequency of the numerology and some, a little bit of astrology of what 2020 is bringing and really just collectively aligning us to um, optimize our frequency for what's possible and what's coming and what's here and what is already with you to amplify it to the next levels so that you might become the new human that you are designed by divine design to become. Blessings.